I'm doing better. Viola Rouse Figueroa is finally seeing some progress. There is a house going up on her Goldsboro property. She'd been living in a FEMA trailer after she lost her home in Hurricane Matthew six years ago. It's not our fault that we were displaced six years and four months ago. And as you can tell, we're still displaced six years and four months later. We showed you in the WRL doc aftermath. The state program Rebuild NC was supposed to help her and thousands of other low income hurricane victims get home. But well, COVID, missteps, and bureaucracy have caused delays. Hundreds of people, strange. like Rena Powell, also featured in the documentary, have been stuck living in a hotel. Oh my God, I had a fall in this trap. <laughs> I felt like I was on a trap. Powell is also seeing some progress. Her Marmac home in Wayne County, damaged by Hurricane Florence, has been demolished. Now they told the house that, well, at least I have some hope that they're going to do something now. The latest numbers from Rebuild show 972 homes out of 4,300 are complete, or about 22 percent. Funding to rebuild the homes damaged in Matthew runs out in 2025. I've been disappointed. I've been frustrated. But me being disappointed and frustrated doesn't fix the problem, doesn't help these people. Representative John Bell toured some of the homes waiting on rebuild. He's been trying to get help for Viola and others in his district. Today we still have people displaced. Stuck. Bell is on a 12-member committee in charge of investigating what went wrong with the program. Laura Hogshead, the woman in charge of Rebuild, has faced tough questions from lawmakers at two legislative hearings, the most recent in December. And you failed as a director. You should resign from your position. But if you were in the private sector, you would have been fired a long time ago. Hogshead is still at the agency. I've been on the phone today twice with uh, Ms. Hogshead about addressing issues, issues that we're finding along the way. A month after WREL's documentary aired, Governor Cooper appointed Richard Trumper to a senior advisor role within Rebuild. Trumper had success managing disaster recovery for another state agency. Bell said it's too early to tell if Trumper will help the failing program. We're, we're going to find out. Uh, I hope it's not another layer of bureaucracy we're dealing with, but um, because I think the less bureaucracy in this situation, the better. But, but we're, we're, we're going to find out. I still believe that Laura Hothead needs to step down. True, they are getting us off the books a little quicker, but it's six years too long. I'm WRL investigative documentary reporter Kristen Severance.